morning, Hancock Field. I'm Senior Airman Sarah Shriver. And I'm Master Sergeant Eric Miller, and welcome to the August 2015 UTA. Yes, welcome back, everyone. Hope you all had a good break. The New York Air National Guard promoted two major generals and had a change of command this past June. Major General Verl Johnston officially retired after more than four decades of military service and relinquished command to Brigadier General Anthony German. General German was promoted to Major General and took command of the New York Air National Guard on June 22nd. Former 174th Attack Wing Commander Brigadier General Kevin Bradley was also promoted to Major General. General Bradley is the National Guard Assistant to the Commander of the United States Cyber Command. Lieutenant Colonel Michelle Kilgore assumed command of the 174th Operations Group during a ceremony held last UTA, becoming the first female group commander in the history of the 174th Attack Wing. Tomorrow we have a distinguished visitor, General Frank Gorenz, commander of the U.S. Air Force's Europe, Africa, and NATO Allied Air Command. Presently, General Gorenz is in command of the 152nd Air and Space Operations Group. His command gives him unique ties to our 152nd Air Operations Group here on Hancock Field. General Gorenz is visiting many sections around Hancock Field on Saturday. The 174th will be conducting a mayor readiness inspection tomorrow from 900 until 1200, partnering with the Syracuse International Airport during their tri-annual major accident response exercise. Readiness inspections test working with the Airport Emergency Operating Center and our ability to respond. And congratulations to Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Luhan as he assumed command over the 222nd Command and Control Squadron this past month. On August 15th, the Syracuse Chiefs professional baseball team is hosting a Military Appreciation Day for military members, veterans, and their families. The 174th GCS simulator will be on display in the stadium parking lot, and the game starts at 1900. Check out the 174th Attack Wing highlighted in the latest edition of the Guard Times magazine. The Guard Times is published quarterly for New York military members and their families. The Combat Dining Inn is coming up the Saturday of UTA, September 12th. All members are encouraged to sign up for this fun-filled event that includes water fights, tug-of-wars, eating, drinking, yelling, crazy uniforms, and the most important thing, unit morale. If you're not signed up now, you're wrong, right? Right. The Fort Drum Deployment Exercise Operation Northern Exposure in October has been postponed due to various mission and training requirements. A new chip and pin is currently being sent out to government travel card holders. Card holders should log in to City Manager and go to My Card account to ensure their contact information is correct. Headphone usage while walking or running on the roadways is prohibited according to AFI 91207. The only place you are authorized to use headphones is the track on the upper ramp and during the PT test on the flight line. Boss Day is coming up next Thursday, August 13th. The ESGR Boss Day allows civilian employers to see what it's like to be a guardsman. For all volunteers who signed up to work the New York State Fair this year, there will be a briefing today. Volunteers will review scheduling, receive their tickets, and a safety briefing. For airmen attending the fall college semester, applications for tuition assistance must be handed in no later than August 15th. The American Red Cross is asking people to please donate blood as right now there is an urgent need. The 174th will be hosting a drive today in the Heritage Room. And keep up to date with the latest news around the U.S. military, Air National Guard, and Hancock Field by following the 174th on social media. That's your August 2015 UTA update. Have a great drill, everyone.